I mean, I'm a massive softie. I train really hard. I'm the loudest in the gym. I have a big bravado, but I love a cry and a cuddle. <laughs> Hi everyone, I hope you're well. It's Shane from The Dream Boys. It's Mental Health Awareness Week, so we're gonna have a little chat. Hope you enjoy. Your mental health is, is a muscle. I treat it like it's any other muscle. Like I'm really good at training physically and I have neglected my mental for quite some time uh, and tried to hide it, hide from it, tried to put it to the back and it's, and it shows because there's certain scenarios in life I just can't deal with. So I think mental health to me is, it's about coping, learning, how, learning who and what you are, what triggers you may be and how to behave and react to the environment that you're put in. Obviously we're talking about it today. It's a good thing to do. I think you have to let things out and talk about it. Like, oh, I've been cancelling when I was younger, had depression, but didn't know I had it. And then um, I suffer with panic attacks, which is a killer, but I'll be good for like a couple of years. And then something will get me when I'm at a low point that I don't know, and then I won't be able to control it. So um, yeah, I, I guess there's so many different levels of mental health. I think a turning point with my mental health was when I started to address the issues and their root. So, so I was diagnosed with uh, anxiety and depression when I was in musical theatre college, yeah. And I was having mad, crazy panic attacks. And it would just feel like the whole room was like swallowing me up. I literally was driving out of nowhere, thought I was having a heart attack. And I literally pulled over on the motorway, sat out by the wheel, ringing my like, mum, sister. And I was like, I didn't know what was going on. I thought I was dying. And then I, I just, I was done. Like literally I finished and my body was just drained and I just wanted to sleep. Something must have triggered it and then I had kept getting it. So I was like, I can't deal with this. I just like, it stopped me wanting to go out and stuff. And I didn't know what was going on. Obviously went to the doctors and I was like, you're suffering from panic attacks. And I was like, are you depressed? And I was like, I don't think I am. I think therapy has really helped me just to like, how to talk about things, what to talk about and what I'm kind of looking for. Or why am I talking about this? Because I'm really logical and I look at something and go, I'm upset, sweet, I'm upset, I'll be over it soon. What am I upset about? Nothing. Like, I won't feel it. So it's good to, like, it's helped me address things and, like, it's okay to feel it. Don't be angry at it because then you're not learning how to deal with it and then it will overtake at some point and build up and build up and build up. So it's kind of given me some tools to, like, deal with it. If you go talk to someone, like I say, they don't judge and sometimes you open up sometimes when it's someone you don't know. Then when they talk back to you and they go, it's not your fault and this and that, and it, it, I think it really does help. Yeah, I think it's really good having someone impartial to just spew at. Like, you could sit there for an hour and bitch if you wanted to, if you just need to get something off your chest and there's no repercussions. There's something really nice and safe about that. And I think, I think everyone should at least experience that either with a friend or with a therapist, for sure. Everyone's the same, you can have a good week where every day you're like, wake up and you're like, oh, cool, happy. And then out of nowhere, you can just wake up one morning and be like, I'm not feeling it today. I don't want to get out of bed. I can go on stage in front of 2000 people on my own, dance, go mad. And then I can't even get on the underground to go to like four stops. And I'm like, what's going on? I think with Dream Boys, we all take our health, fitness very seriously. And actually we are quite good with our mental health in terms of talking and being there for each other. There's no sort of toxic masculinity, bravado bullshit with us. We are really just a family and like, it's fine to cry. Yeah, speaking, you're just speaking, you have to speak to people. The, the more you bottle up, the, the worse it's gonna get.